Look, I want to tell you, okay? I want to tell you about this guy. I mean, I mean the way he was. Because he was a beautiful guy. Is that okay? Sure. I'd like to hear. Tell me. He's... Okay. Well, his name is David. And I guess all I really have to say about him is... He's a decent guy. And beautiful, too, you know? Not because he was any movie idol type. Not because he was a muscle builder or anything, but... Because it was like there was a light inside him, which... Made him strong, gentle, kind. That kind of beauty, you know? Sexy, sure. Sexy is anything, but more to it altogether. You are? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, decent. Nobody deserves what. What he's going through, I know nobody, but it just makes me sick inside because it's so unfair. He came to San Francisco. You really want to hear this? Sure. If you want to tell me. I do. He, well, like a lot of other guys, he left the Midwest. I know it's a joke. People put down the Castro for being Midwest, but it isn't, really. It isn't a joke. Okay, so David cuts hair, and I know that's a joke too, a cliché. But he set himself up in business, and he did well enough for himself, and that's not a joke either. He had to fight to have his own life the way he wanted it. That's how I knew him first, see. And he cut my hair, and, well, sure. He did a lot of customers, of course, right there in the barber's chair. He was a hot guy, and lots of fun, and sweet, beautiful, and horny. There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't say there was. Yeah. I know, no. You didn't. But you know, everyone's putting it down nowadays. The party's over! The party's over! Well, no! That wasn't just the party. It was a... it was more. It was a lot more. At least to some of us. And it was connected to other parts of our lives. Deep parts. Deep connections. I'm not going to deny that drugs were a part of it, and I know for some guys it was, or it turned out to be, hell. But that's not the whole story. For me, for a lot of guys, it was living, and it was loving. Yeah, it was loving. And I don't regret a single moment of it. Yeah. I'm not sorry. Hurt. I was in Vietnam. I don't want to talk about that now, except to say I nearly died there. And for what? What would have been the purpose? Greed? Stupidity? That's what I gave a part of my life for. And some of the things I saw there, I still see them sometimes when I close my eyes like they were so terrible, so evil, that they burned into my eyes. I'll see them as long as I live. I'm not going to tell you about them. I don't tell anyone. Take my word. Yeah. I just want to say, I know, I saw what immoral means. I learned what immoral means. And that's why nobody, but nobody, tells me I'm immoral because I love a man. All that is good. Really, truly, basically good. Something in me knows that. 
knows that it's just the exact opposite of the evilness.